What's happening, my Pokey people? It's your boy, Pokey Perk. And today, we're gonna go over the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift all new pre release, pre constructed Za 2 deck that I had to use in the new pre release tournament. So, without further ado, let's bust these things open. phenomenal all right so as you know in a building battle you get four packs a 40 card ready to play deck and a code card for the tcg live well i'll put the video link at the top for the four the packs that i did but i ended up getting the zatu deck so you get a Zatu. Oh, I'm throwing cards. You get the Zatu, Espathra, Flittle. We're just going to set the cards out at first. Ultra Ball, Zatu. We'll put the energies right there. And all the trainers over here. Ella Kid. Some fire energy. All the energies will go together. All the trainers will go together. Got another Espathra. Got a nod to. Energy, energy, energy. Mela, energy. Tulip, youngster. Fire, psychic, psychic. Yak, or Jacques, however you want to say that. We got the Chi Yu. Fire, Magby. Chi Yu. Fire, nod to. Flittle. Mega Goza, Psychic Fire, Parasol Lady, which I have pulled in Japanese, the SIR, Iron Moth, Earthen Vessel, and two more Fire Energy. Alright, so, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 Energies. 17 energies in a 40 card pre constructed deck. All right? Earthen Vessel. This is a new card for the ancient Pokemon. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now, this is like a, an energy expediter. Not bad at all because. Zatu can put an extra energy per turn, which is really cool. Parasol Lady. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If you go second and it's your first turn, draw eight cards instead. That's awesome, especially if you don't like your hand. Mezagoza. This is a stadium card that you can use. Once during each player's turn, that player may flip a coin. If heads, that player searches their deck for a Pokemon. Any Pokemon reveals it and puts it into their hand. Then that player shuffles their deck. Very, very useful if you're looking for your attack card or your supporter card that you need to win the game. Yuck. Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Very cool if you can't find the Zatu or the Espathra. It's not coming out for you. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. That's Youngster. Also very good if you can't draw anything good. Tulip, which you need for Espathra to make it hit harder. Put up to four in any combination of Psychic Pokemon in Psychic Energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Your hand. That is awesome. It can be very clutch. Mela. Only if your Pokemon was knocked out. During your opponent's last turn, attach a basic Fire Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you do, draw to you of six cards in your hand. That could be very beneficial for your Chiyu in the pre the pre-constructed. Clavel. This to help you get some Pokemon onto your bench. If your if your bench is dry, search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon with 120 HP or less. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Can really help you out in a bind. Then Ultra Ball. 
Discard two cards from your hand and search your deck for a Pokemon. Put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. Also, very, very good card if you can't draw the Pokemon that you're looking for. Now, all that being said, whoops, the deck revolves around the Zatu and the Espathra to get the game going, right? So the Natu, you get two of them. Triple strike, flip three coins, this attack does 10 damage for each head, so 30 all together if you get all three heads. Then you get two different variations of the Zatu, right? Super side bolt and clairvoyant state. Sense, I mean. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic psychic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you attach an energy to your Pokemon in this way, draw two cards. That's where that earthen vessel comes in, where you can search your deck and for two basic energy cards can really help you out a lot because you can attach an extra to one of your bench Pokemon. And that, that doesn't have to be in your active spot to use the ability either, just so you know. And then next, for our other psychic Pokemon, we have a Spathra in Flittle. Now, Flittle being the basic, the attack psychic. The attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. But in a pre-release, it's not going to be too many. And then we have a Spathra. And that's why I said the Tulip was needed. Because Glittering Eyes, if Tulip is in your discard pile, it's attacked as 70 more damage. That's 140 damage at a pre-release. And that can really hurt. Because not many Pokemon at a pre-release have more than 140 HP. Right? But its, it's ability is also awesome. If you still need to attach an energy to it for the next turn, well, if you evolve Flittle into a Spathra that turn, and your opponent's next, until your opponent's end of their next turn, they can't attack you or use an effect of an attack on a Spathra until the end of that turn. Really beneficial because it's basically like you get a whole extra turn and they can't do anything but attach energies. Really cool. Okay, and now we have our baby Pokemon that don't need any energies to attack. So first we have Magby. Yes, it only has 30 HP, but it can hit for 60, even if it's knocked out. So Scorching Heater, during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put 6 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Well, if you're trying to sacrifice something to build something... Magby's the way to go, because he's going to deal damage in the wake. And then Elekid, Crackling Shot, no energies. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. So, that being said, you can do 30 damage to any of your opponent's Pokemon in play, including their bench. Okay, and then Iron Moth, the future Pokemon. So, its ability, Thermal Reactor. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. So, say you have uh, you have your three Chiyu down and you got all your fire energies on it, but Iron Moths in your active spot would just move there. You can move the fire energies from the Chiyu over to Iron Moth. Very cool. Heat Ray. Three energy. That's why that makes that ability so much more better. During your next turn, this Pokemon cannot use Heat Ray. So, that sucks. That's not very good. But, this can be your knockout Pokemon to win the game. You know what I mean? And then Chi Yu, you get three of them. Right here. These are what's going to help you out in a bind. Say you only have... Like you're down, you're down to like your last one or two. Chi Yu can really hit hard. All right, Flare Bringer. Attach up to two basic fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So you can't attach one to one and one to the other. It has to be the same one. Usually you're going to pick Chi Yu, right? Or if you have the Iron Moth down there, you can pick Iron Moth. And then we have Mega Fire of Envy. It does 50 plus. So 
If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does 90 more damage so that's hit that's hitting for 140 right so that attack can be beneficial if like you sacrificed your elicid or if you sacrificed your magby right very cool sorry i got the sniffles and then this card just offers some trainer tips for the paradox rift pre-release so it's telling you that about the chi yu and the uh this bathroom right here chi yu is a great mid to late game partner for any pokemon offering up to 140 damage for two fire energy as long as one of your pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn this is enough to knock out most Pokemon your opponent can throw your way. Chi Yu will be at its best when you're looking to take your last card or two. You ain't lying. Your boy still lost. It's alright though. And then a Spathra. Usually the best play is to evolve your Pokemon as soon as you're allowed to do so, but a Spathra has a unique ability called Stance that protects itself from all damage from and effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon until the end of their next turn. Like I said... Make sure you're ready to attack with a Spathra on the turn you evolve it into the to get the most out of stance. You'll even find a Tulip in your deck to help a Spathra do tons of damage. So what they're saying is if Tulip's in your deck in your discard pile, you evolve a Spathra. Or you evolve Flittle into a Spathra and you attack their active Pokemon, knock it out. They send another uh, Pokemon out. They still can't hit you till the end of their turn. So then you attack that one, knock it out. That's two prize cards. But hey, guys, listen. Hit that like. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel with notifications to support. Yo, boy, peace.